So guys, today let's talk about the Colgate and Rufus sheets, the types and the usage of uh, these corrugated sheets. So basically, we have our own specifications. So uh, we're going to be telling you about the specifications of corrugated roofing sheets that we have here that we can offer you, and the types and uh, the specific usage of the corrugated roofing sheets that we have on sales here. Okay. So basically, um, the corrugated sheets are basically in the GI and GF form. We all know about it. It's about the, the governors and the government corrugated roofing sheets. And um, we also have the pre pitted corrugated sheets. So um, maybe you might want to see uh, or take a glance at what I'm talking about so um, you can understand the various types and uh, the usage I'm about to talk about. So um, basically, it will be provided up there and you can just see what uh, we are about to talk about and um, as we guys to the code getter sheets yeah and the both the governized and the governments code getter sheets and the pre printed code getter sheets as well but basically um, whether the bottom and governance go getter sheets they are all suitable for industrial buildings as well as um, normal or safer buildings okay so whether industrial uh, buildings or normal buildings corrugated sheets are quite useful for such applications okay so um, basically the corrugated sheets the box profile sheets and the flat sheets we have here are available in 0.12 millimeter up to 1.0 millimeter for the thickness and for the tie form roofing sheets uh, we have it with a length of uh, from 2 millimeters up to 6 uh, meters and it can be also customized based on your own requirements so for example if you have a logo or a specific uh, design that you want we can also accept your requirements when it comes to the customization of these uh, corrugated sheets okay so mostly uh 2 millimeter actually is used in africa and zero five 5 uh, mostly in the asians or uh, asia regions okay uh, so now let's uh show you some different samples of the corrugated sheets that we have here basically one from uh the normal gi uh, governor's sheets and the uh pre-painted governor's uh, uh, uh sheets okay so this one right here in my hand is the uh the, the uh, pre-printed governance you can take a look at it it is well designed and like I said we are also accepting uh, your requirements for the customization if you do have a specific requirements for your corrugated sheets we can customize based on uh, what you want it to be okay and this one here is the, the pre-printed and this one right in my hand here the next one is the governance corrugated sheets so like I said, you see this, uh, the logo right down there is one aspect of the customization. If you have a specific logo or yeah, the kind of design that you want, we can do it for you like this one right here. Yeah, so basically that's the two I've shown you. This one is the governance and the first one I'll show you is the pre-painted uh, get sheets. So let's move forward. So basically the governance uh, roofing sheets uh, is used for the protection of the surface of the sheets and the protection for, from corrosion and also expand the life of the um, the the sheets, the corrugated sheets so it is actually used because of um, the protection for the surface of the sheets and for the protection of uh, oxidation on the sheets so basically these kind of sheets last longer because of these components that it's made of okay so it is coated with uh, metallic zinc which is mainly used in the construction in the automobile uh, 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 application areas okay so um the metallic zinc that is, that is made of the component of the metallic zinc that is made of allows us to use it in construction areas okay and for the the, the last band it can stay up to um, five between five to ten years so that's a very long time 
for a corrugated roofing sheet that's the last part and for the uh, the GL which is guard volume um, so both GI and GL are most uh, almost the same uh, they are also like as I said they are basically um, of the same production processes right that's to say uh, the continual melting and the coating processes so basically whether GI or GL corrugated sheets both of them have almost the same processing method that is the continuous melting and the coating processes so for the uh, the differences uh, in the uh, in the coating the differences mean lies in the coating okay so as compared to GI GL sheets have a 55 percent aluminum and uh, the aluminum oxide can function as a protective barrier okay so basically GI the basic uh, comparison that we had now is that um, as compared to, to, to GI GL sheets has 55 percent aluminum and because of that the aluminum oxide uh, component that is formed within the GL can function as a protective barrier okay so that is to say have a more uh, a better corrosion performance that uh, can spend up to like 25 years yep 25 years but with this high quality the price is also high yeah the price is also higher because of the high corrosion performance yeah so moving down to the uh, the usage let's see the um, the pre-painted uh, uh, GI corrugated sheets can be used for large public buildings and uh, decorations of computer rooms like uh, public workshops and the uh, portable house also and um, for the construction of integrated houses okay so for the usage it has a wide range of use from public buildings uh, computer rooms decorations portable house integrated houses you need the rest so that's one aspect of the usage okay so the PPGI has a surface uh, chemical uh, treatment and it is painted with uh, an organic flame so the surface or the last span can be up to about 10 years because of the chemical treatment on uh, the painted organic flame for the uh, PPGI so um, so now whether the corrugated sheets or the box profile tire sheets uh, you just need the rest all of them is just basically dependent on the needs of the customers yeah we have our own packaging our own specifications here but if you do have your own requirements we also take that into consideration and like I said earlier for the uh, corrugated sheets you can give us your requirement and your customization requirement and preferences and then we can go strictly with what you want us to give to you okay so for the packaging um, like I said for our general packaging that we do we have the various type of packaging like the simple and the, 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 the standard export packaging which is very very much protective for the um, for the, the goods okay so you should also also understand that uh, we have a specific, a specific limitation or minimum package order yeah and that will be provided below the video or that will be provided in the descriptive uh, photos uh, right after this video okay so basically the standard expo packaging is basically for long uh, distances and I guess it is widely used and the price is also I think is also reasonable so um, all of the packaging is just for the protection of your pack of your orders so basically that is done for today and if you have a specific questions you can just uh, as should I say leave a comment below the video and also if you have a specific uh, type of corrugated sheet that you want to ask for or you want to order and we are not mentioning it here in the video you can also uh, leave a comment and contact us um, via our whatsapp number okay so thanks for the time you have spent here watching this video I guess 
It was important. It was worth the time. And we hope to bring you more information about Colgate Sheets, Governors and Garvan Sheets, and all that uh, in the future to come. Okay, so thank you for the time. And yeah, that's all for now. Bye.